also from Old Testament. Okay? The book of Romans chapter number 8 is what we call the crown jewel of the New Testament. Okay? And the crown jewel of the Old Testament is Psalm 23. Okay? So these two chapters are are the most comforting and the most uh, chap chapter na ginawalihan, ginatunan. Okay? Chapter 8 of Romans is loaded with, with biblical proof na if you can fully understand this, this will really give you a better hope for the future. And you will know your standing of who you are in Christ. Okay? Dili ka mabalaka what lies ahead in the future. Same with, with same with I know, uh, Psalm 23 uh, written by King David. So today we will focus on Romans chapter number 8. This is written by Apostle Paul. And actually Romans chapter 8 is some sort of a conclusion from Romans chapter 1 up to Romans chapter 7. So in Romans chapter 1 to chapter 7, Paul explained the mercy and the grace of God. Yang yang explain maayo on sa ninglasya o ang kaloy sa ginoo. And then he summarized everything. Romans chapter 8, therefore, is the summary of the teaching of Apostle Paul from chapter 1 to chapter 7. So, okay, I will read verse 1 of Romans chapter 7. And therefore, there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ. Okay. That, that's the truth number one. Okay. The power of condemnation has been broken. You are no longer condemned. Okay. Even though we are guilty of sin, but because you are in Christ, you si Apostle Paul, you are not condemned. Eh? Ako ipasa sa ako ipasa sa si Juan version sa ang pulong sa Dios. Ningon diha nga kita nga anaa ni Kristo dili na paga silutan. So, kung magpabilin ka ni Kristo, dili na ka silutan. Remember, when Jesus was hanging on the cross, before He gave up His Spirit, He shouted, saying, Titiliste, meaning, it is finished. And the word finish, the, the word titiliste in, in, in Greek, it means paid in full. Okay? Dayon, death is cancelled. I cancel ng imuotang. Ang tanang balaryan, di balaryan na sa, you know. So that's the meaning of the word na gisinggit ni Jesus nga, it is finished. Meaning, impas na tanan di mo obligasyon. God will no longer condemn you because you put your faith in Christ and when Christ said, it is finished, your sin, muna ningon si Pablo, all our sins were crucified with Him into sa sa cross of sa, in, in other translation no, I, I love reading other translation in order, in order to give a better understanding ningon ang contemporary English version if you belong to Christ Jesus you won't be punished okay. are you sure that you belong to Christ? muna ito siguro ha? So, ninyo na Biblia, if you belong to Christ, you won't be punished. Okay. So, verse 1 is talking about freedom from judgment. That is why every Christian nga makatik was about prepare to meet your God. Because that is what uh, Prophet Amos said in chapter 4, verse number 12. Ninyo si Prophet Amos, I will, uh, God said, I will do this, prepare to meet Dahil ka. So, dahil ang tao mahatlog makikiyamamat sa ginoo, kaya they are guilty. Okay? Kaya wala sila Kristo. 
But if you are a person who put your faith in Christ, okay, you take Christ as your Savior and Lord, you are not going to be afraid kung panahon na nimo matubang sa, you know, why? The first thing that God said, uh, you will not be punished. Kining verse 1, Kaningon ni Hanga, Now therefore, there is now no condemnation in Christ. Sumpay ni itong verse number 7, at chapter 7, na Paul was expressing himself, Ningon siya nga, Ganahan ko mabuhat o maayo, I ended up doing bad thing. Okay? So the struggles siya. I mean, Paul was guilty. Nasa'y guilt. Kaya ganun, ganun siya bubuhat o maayo, di siya kabuhat. Magpakabuhat siya o oh, dautan. The later part of that chapter, ninyo si Paul na sin is in the body. Ang sala ko nun na lawas, which is true, because your spirit can never commit sin. Because that is that is the only thing of you. Now remember, we are part tripartite being. We have three parts as if it's one of us, not a soul, not a, not a body, not a spirit. Okay? That spirit that you have, that, that, that is one thing that, that was given by God to you. In, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, siya, Now therefore, there is no... Huh? Okay, okay, okay. You are now a. Anybody is in Christ. Is anybody in Christ is now a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. So, pag salihan ni butan kasi imong pag salit ni ni Kristo, your old, your 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 old nature, di ko hagili sa nagbago ang imong spirito, spirit that can never be tarnished by by sin. So every time we commit sin, you must Pablo, that sin is only in the body. So that is why when you when when we appear before God, you know, can you must Pablo sa Corinthians na each one of us will appear before God, and we will give account to everything that we have done, whether good or bad. So you you don't need to you don't need to be afraid kung matubang kas gino if you have Christ. Because God promised that if you remain in Christ, you will not be judged, you will not be punished. Now, napag yung laing version. Yun yung uh, laing version. Romans 8, 1 sa uh, easy uh, to read version. Okay. Yung rin nga. So now anyone who is in Christ Jesus is not judged guilty sa gdaotan, same as you and me. Hindi siya pwede na magkabuhat ang gdaotan na may sa na pwede. So, ningon ningon ang Biblia nga, we are not guilty because all our guilt, all our sins, we're covered by the blood of Christ, uh, God's word that lesion. So, those who are believers in Christ Jesus can no longer be condemned can no longer be. Now, look at this word. <laughs> Di na ko ka pwede pa makundin. Di na ka pwede silutan because you are in Christ. Di pa rin yan na ni Cristo imo. Sa nga. Sir, are you glad that we are no longer under condemnation? Okay. <clears throat> Number two. Okay. The law, the law of the spirit of life, <coughs> set us free from the law of sin and death. So, in Romans chapter two, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Kung wala pa kay Kristo, you are under the bondage of law and uh, of sin and death. Okay. That's why all you, all you, tananin mong ginabuhat, puro good. Kanang opposite or kanang violation sa kaman sa rinoon. Now, sa lihang 
Niabot ang panahon nga you put yourself in Christ. Nagpabilin ka niya ni Kristo or you put your faith in Jesus. Ningon diri ang Biblia. Ningon si Pablo nga the law of the spirit of life in Christ mo na mo control ni mo. So, lantawa ha? Karoon sa kalimutan, duha ka law ang nag-away per me. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus versus the law of sin, sin and death. Okay? Now, my favorite illustration of this is you go to the airport, you watch the airplane na mo take off. Okay? That plane weighs hundreds of tons. So, how come na ang bukat kayo ng plano makalupan man? So, have you seen an airplane na mo take off na walay walay tingog o walay alingasa? So, every plane that will take off full throttle ko na. Alingasa kayo. Okay? Why? There is na ay duha ka law ga gaaway niya. The law of gravity and the law of aerodynamics. Okay? The law of aerodynamics will pull out, pull up the airplane na makalupad while the law of gravity is trying his best to pull down the plane back to the ground. Okay? The law of gravity is the law of sin and death. The law of aerodynamics is what, is what we call the spirit of and the, the, the law of spirit of, li in li of life in Christ Jesus. So, pag take off sa replano, gaawa niyo niyo ang okay, si kusgan. Okay? So, mas kusgan ang, ang, ang sa ginoon. So, that's a good illustration. Okay? Sa atong kinabuhi, every day, there's the law fighting inside of you. The law of sin and death, munang sa'yo, magkasala ka. <laughs> Kaya nadala pa ka. Oh, tingali, huyan itong imong law of spirit in life in Christ Jesus. Okay? So, that, that's that's what Apostle Paul said. Now that you are in Christ, you are now ruled by the law of spirit spirit in life in Christ. Okay? That's why ningon ningon diha ang so penas and verse 3. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. So, katong law of sin and death well, ang nakapaloya ito sa balaon, kaya dapat tayo mga balaon ng ginoo, nakapaloya ito ang unod sa tao. Okay? Then, ningon dahan, ningon dahan, verse kolo nga, God did by sending His own Son in the likeness of the sinful flesh on account of sin. He condemned sin in the flesh that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit. Okay? So, nakita sa ginoo nga the only way to to defeat the law of sin and death is for us to walk in the spirit. That is why Romans chapter 8 is a chapter teaching you how to walk in the spirit, how to live in the spirit. That is the only antidote for you to overcome the law of sin and Death. Okay? So now, the law of the spirit of life set us free from the law of sin and death. Okay. Number three, we must set our minds on the things of the spirit. Okay. So, Nikon si Pablo in verse 5, For those who live according to the flesh set their mind on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the spirit the things of the spirit. Now, ang gikamit diha nga word is flesh. Okay? Some other version used the word uh, even in New King James in, in verse, ako masawan ang verse ko, ano? Verse 7. Diba na verse 7? Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. It cannot submit to God. Okay? It cannot, sa ganahan siya mo submit, he cannot submit to God. Now, ang gigamit niya, carnal. Now, if you study the book of Corinthians, Paul was teaching that there are three kinds of person. Tulog ka, tulo ka klaseng tao sa kalibutan. 
Nah, kita orang tu the natural mind, man, the carnal man, and the spiritual man. Eh, you can read it in in First Corinthians. Dengar Pablo, the natural man is someone yang wala ginoo, dili siya believer, dili siya luas. The carnal man is a believer, magtotoo siya, believer siya, pero na split ang iyaguan sa ayo, both ang sa ayo da utan sa ayo. Wala siya klaro ba ba? Dili siya totally submitted to the Lord, okay? So ang iyang pangandoy carnal na diya po, dili pang ginoo. Although he is a believer, pero iyang pangandoy, dili pang believer. Muna kita wala ito carnal. Na ito ay kita wala spiritual man. Because Pablo, this is the person who is totally committed to the Lord. Not only committed, but submitted to God. Now here, ang gigapit ni Pablo sa verse 7 is carnal. There are a lot of Christians who are carnal. We don't think about the spirit, things of the spirit. They are more focused on the things of this world. Yes, they are Christians, but they are more worldly. Hello. Palak na din ito na binaspikas. I was. I heard. I heard Peter Tanchi of the CCF. Niyun siya. I am afraid. Half of you will not make it to heaven. Yung isulti niya ng congregation. I am afraid. Half of you will never go to heaven. But you are living a carnal lifestyle. How about you? Are you are you carnal or spiritual? The spiritual man is focused on the things of the spirit, not on the things of this world. Nimas Pablo ako masawat in verse eight. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh, but you are in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ. Dili siya iyan ni Kristo. So, this is the this is the proof na di pangita. The proof that you are a Christian is this. You have the Spirit of Christ in you. I mean, the Holy Spirit is taking control of your life. Kaya di ngon si di ngon si Paul. Kung wala ni mo ng Espiritu ha, na iya ni Kristo, dili ka iya ni Kristo. Ato na lang, balik ang basa ang 6 and 7. Ingon ang verse 6 and 7. For to, be, for to be carnally minded is death. So if you keep on thinking of the things of this world, ingon ang Biblia, you are thinking death. Okay. Yeah. But to the spiritual mind, then, is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. I mean, contradict <clears throat> that, you know, he is an enemy of God. So, because Pablo, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. Dili siya mo simitar, Bisan pag mo simitar siya, dili siya kahimo o simitar. So, muna yung carnal. So, hindi nga si Pablo nga, sa verse 8, if we follow our desires, we cannot please God. You are no longer ruled by your desire, but by God's Spirit who lives in you. People who don't have the Spirit of Christ in them don't belong to to him. Klaro na. So that's why niyon si Paul in his writing in, in 1 Corinthians, niyon siya na, examine yourself. Iba si Gwa ka Kebalo na lang lang na ka. You are already disqualified. 
So, kung sa ganito ang super normal man, man, takes his thoughts or mind on the things of the okay. Spirit. That's why nyo si Pablo sa Colossians, fix your mind on what is above. Okay, those things are eternal. What you can see here are temporal. Okay? Okay, we are this. This is another truth. We are possessors of resurrection life. So, this is Pablo sa, sa Romans 8, 11. But if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead, which is the Holy Spirit, dwells in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through His Spirit who dwells in you. So, what is the name of God? Kung tinuod kang naborn again, kung tinuod kang nito o ni Kristo, nito ng Biblia, the Holy Spirit will dwell in you. And that Spirit, nito si Pablo, is the one who raised Jesus from the dead. So that Spirit is the resurrection power of God. And that resurrection power of God is right now in you. If you are in Christ. Okay? So you become possessors of the resurrection life. That is why, kung imong paniyonan ng basa ng mga kining versikulo nga isulat ni Pablo, ningon siya nga, naghatag ni garanti ni mga, kung mamatay ka, mabanhaw ra ka, pagbalik, why? You possess the power of resurrection. Now, ato basa ko sa, ato basa ko sa, contemporary English version. So, nyo nandere. Yet, God raised Jesus to life. God's Spirit now lives in you. And He will raise you to life by His Spirit. Okay? Kung mamatay, maghani ka, ay, ginagana, ginagabanahon kang balik. Because you have that resurrection life. Okay? Ito ni Bung Samot. Okay. Okay. Number five, we are sons and daughters of God who are to be led by the Holy Spirit. So, ninyo ang Pablo sa 14, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. So, who are the sons of God? Only those who are led by the Spirit. Okay. For you did not receive the Spirit of bondage again to fear, but you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. In, in pure English, Abba, Father means Daddy God. Or plainly, Daddy, Abba. Actually, when you search the word Abba, it's a Greek. It means Daddy. God is your Daddy. 